Right guys, ah, I've finished cutting the grass. <laughs> um, let me just put the lawnmower away and I'll show you what I've done. It's been a really busy night. I had to get this done. I wanted to do this over the weekend, but I was just too busy to get round to my own garden. I've done everybody else's jobs. <laughs> Never got round to my own. Um, right, let me just hang on to that there. I'm going to try and lift the lawnmower up. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit of a step into the shed. So, that's it. Right, I'll walk it into the corner, so it's out of the way. There we go, that's lovely. Right, and I'll sort the rest of this out in the morning, I think. There we go, that's it, perfect. Ah, oh, right. I'll take the bedding in. That's the dog's bedding. I always put it out to air when I get back, sweep the shed out, give them a fresh drink so they're all ready in the morning. Right, put the, uh, shut the door. There we go, guys. Oh. <laughs> There's one, two, one more, guys. Here we go. And I'll just lock it. That's it, right, shed's locked. Guys, there, if you have a look now, there, it's a little bit better than it was. Um, it's not going to be perfect, and I'm not worried about the garden at the moment because I want to try and get the fencing and the gates and all that sorted out. So the gate at the top now is pretty good. I just need one more piece of timber, which I'm going to get on Saturday. I'm going to go to a, a builder's merchants because they've got really wide uh, treated planks, and that's what I need. Right, so I've got my table and chairs set out again on the, um, the gravelly section. The gravity section full of weeds that is. I've got my grey wheelie bin out and this is the gate I was, I've been repairing. That's the next door neighbour's gate there, my little gate there and I'll put some cross braces up the top to secure it all, make it all nice and rigid because it, it was just too much on one post, it just couldn't take it, everything was falling over. Right, are you coming in there sooty? Come on in. There you go, right, let's get in the house. Go on, off you go. Go on, off you go, fellas. Right, that's it. I'm not doing anything else out there. It's half past eight now, guys. I haven't had my shower yet. Right. Let me come in and turn that radio off. It's starting to get a little bit dark as well now. Turn that light on, guys. Oh, that's better. Right, I'll shut the door. Keep the boys in while I'm having a shower. Right. It's been a really good day today. It's really hot. I don't know what it was like where you were, but it was really hot here. Right, can I come in, guys? Thank you. So... Yeah, so I'm, um, I've done all I need to do today. Let me just turn the light on in the front room as well. There you go, that's better. Right, we're in the front room now. Oh, <laughs> I'm weary now. <laughs> I had a late day at work. Um, I had a job that um, had to go out. Oh, and it got left to the last. And then it was an MOT, a service and items. And it was all a bit rushed. I ended up leaving work late. Um, so, ah, oh, let me take your shoes off, guys. So it's been really good. Right, I've got to do a shout out. And the shout out is for Olivia. Now, Olivia is the daughter of one of my subscribers, uh, Claire. And Claire is the mum, and Olivia is the daughter. The daughter's 20 years old today, it's her birthday. So, happy birthday, Olivia. And you wouldn't guess where they are, they're in Miami. <laughs> she sent me a message this morning saying, can I have a shout out? I'm in Miami with my daughter and it's her 20th birthday. So happy birthday, Olivia. <laughs> right, um, other things, I've been in contact with Am um, Amelia and she's in Birmingham. And I'm going to Birmingham on Saturday, uh, sorry, Sunday, to go and see um, Cheryl, Cheryl, who's gonna do my hair extensions. And this is just a pre-meeting so that she can see, obviously this isn't my hair guys, this is a wig. She's going to have a look at my hair to see what she can do and see what, what colours. She's obviously got to try and match up some colours as well. So that's happening on Sunday. So I've got to get over to Birmingham on Sunday, 12 o'clock. I've got to be there for 12. And then once I've finished at Cheryl's, I'm going to uh, message Amelia. And then we're going to see if we can meet up for a cup of coffee in a bit of cake somewhere. Uh, so that's going to be really good. So that'll be a really good Sunday. Um, 
I don't know, I haven't looked that far ahead as of what the weather's going to be doing. I, I know up to Wednesday it was going to be really nice and hot and sunny. And then I think it was going to be a bit cloudy, but I think the temperature's still going to be quite hot. Uh, so we'll have to see. I'm not worried about the weekend at the moment. It's, it's a way off at the moment. So that's what's happening at the moment. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go upstairs and have a shower now, guys. And when I come down, I'll, t I'll give you another video and have a little chat. And then we'll sort out what we can do tomorrow because I need to uh, do something for you. I've got, obviously, we've been through the shoes, the dresses, the skirts, uh, wigs, makeup. So we've done loads of things, but there's still things we can do. <laughs> So I don't know if you want me to read that list off again or if you can all remember or if you want to have a stab at it. Uh, but yeah, give me some ideas and we'll do a talk tomorrow evening. Uh, I won't be rushing about in the garden and hopefully I won't be late back from work this time either. Uh, so um, give me a shout out and um, we'll see what we can arrange for, t for tomorrow evening and we'll do something special. Uh, right, so I'm going to sign out, but I will sign back in again later on after I've had my shower so we can have a chat. Okay, right, bye-bye, and I'll speak to you later.